Uh, to not raise these taxes, you do forego revenue for the middle class at a cost of about $3 trillion. The Democrats like to point out that uh, not letting the tax cuts expire for the wealthiest Americans will cost $700 billion over 10 years. Is this deficit spending that Republicans support? Look, we don't have this problem in Washington because we tax too little. We have it because we spend too much. We have a spending problem. If we were to raise taxes now, which is a terrible idea, they would simply spend it. The president's already conceded that. It would simply be used to extend, uh, expand uh, spending on whatever programs they think are, are reasonable to spend money on. What we need to do is to keep tax rates where they are and concentrate on spending and debt which means reducing spending, which will then allow us to reduce debt. That is exactly what we ought to be doing. But you don't dispute that we're enough, all going into Americans... debt for these tax cuts. You don't dispute that that would require more debt. Look, this has been tax, the tax rate for 10 years. We are in the situation we're in because we spend too much, not because we tax too little. But tax, but Senator, revenue, it... tax revenues have grown over the years. Tax revenues have grown over the years at the current tax rate. And right. the war, you know, the way to the way to narrow the deficit, I would say to both of you, is to get the private sector economy growing again. You don't do that by raising taxes in the middle of a recession. But you're not suggesting that the tax cuts will pay for themselves. I mean, no economist said says the that way, the tax cuts will generate enough growth to make it even, right? Look, the, the way to narrow the deficit is to cut spending and get the private sector growing again. 